Hi everyone. If you haven't formally introduced, my name is Rachel April Phillips and I'm a branding marketing expert and I'm also a business coach. I thought I would use this time just to share this message that I was thinking about yesterday and I thought yes, I'm going to share it to my viewers and I've entitled it, Who Stole My Easter Egg? Now if you're celebrating Easter with your friends, your family, your loved ones, sitting down to a nice hot meal or maybe you're going out to church to have a, a church fellowship or maybe you're not actually interested and you just don't know what the fuss is all about. Whatever camp you are in, I would like to wish you peace, happiness and joy. I thought I would take this time while everyone's busy celebrating Easter to share this message to you. Now you might have been going off course, um, you know, you've planned for 2015 to achieve your goals and you found that you're not actually um, on track for your goals to be successful by the end of 2015. Don't worry, don't be panicked, don't be afraid. I'm going to share with you these three simple steps to help you get back on track. If you're on track and you are on goal to achieve your goals, congratulations, you are due a celebration. Make sure you celebrate and reward you yourself for staying on track. Now, I'm going to share with you the three steps if you're off track how to get yourself back on track. Just like a captain, when he's steering a massive ship and the wind is blowing that ship and the ship starts to go of course, what does that captain do? He takes hold of that steering wheel a bit tighter and moves that ship and gets it back on track. So the first step is you are the captain of your life. You are the captain of your destiny and your goals. So if you notice that you're off track, make sure you take hold of your steering wheel your life and steer back your life back to the direction that you want to go. Now, how do you do that? How do you get and take control of your life to steer it back to where you want to go? So we're going to go now into step two. Step two means now that you know that you're going off course, you have to now start focusing on asking the simple questions, what did I do to make me go off course? How can I get myself back on course? And once I'm back on course, how can I stay on course? These three questions will help you get back on course and to achieving your goals in 2015. So let's recap on those three questions again. First question you need to ask yourself is, what did I do to make me go off course? Number two, how can I get back on course to achieve my goals for 2015? And number three, how can I stay on course to achieve my goals? in 2015. Now we're going to go into step three. Once you've understood that you're the captain of your ship and you've asked yourself those three questions, we're going to go to the final step. So like, like I mentioned earlier, we're all in a season of joy and happiness and every time we get into the season, a lot of people get flustered and we're running around like it was you know, Christmas and we have to buy all the presents and it's Easter and everyone is just spending, spending money. Why don't we use this season to slow down, reflect and take time to worry about me, myself and I. You know, it's not selfish for you to focus on yourself. Actually, if you focus on yourself a bit more, you will actually find that this will help you to add to those techniques for you to stay on track and stay on course for you to achieve your goals. So use the seasons, use the seasons as an actual checklist for you and also a mentor, a vision, like a mood board. So every time you know a season is coming up, we're just having Easter now, use this time to say, I'm going to slow down, I'm going to stop, find a quiet place in your room, in your office, at your home, and sit down and reflect on the last quarter of your life and see if there's any way that you can tweak, you can improve, you can add to the going journeys of what you're going to do in the next three months. So use the season as a mentor, as a motivation, as a checklist for you to stay on track to achieve your goals. If you follow these three simple steps and techniques, I will guarantee you that you will achieve your goals in 2015. I would like to wish you a happy, happy Easter and make sure that you take time to spend with family and loved ones at this time. And I will speak to you soon. Take care. Have a great day.